Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up, it's me, Priscilla. So, the first time that I did this cheap art supplies challenge, I'm not saying it's cheap, it's just, it's different than what I'm used to working with, and it's Crayola crayons. All I have here is a 24 box of Crayola crayons. Now, I have done a similar video to this, and I think it was about maybe a year ago, and when I did this, uh, this challenge, I don't think I got to do a voiceover for it. And I think it j I just put it up as a regular time lapse and I'm like, well, that's kind of a pity that I didn't get a chance to actually talk about it. <laughs> but a lot of you know me, you know that I don't really like crayons. <laughs> I don't like crayons because I don't like working with them. Mm, I liked working with them up until I was about eight years old and then I realized that I could make beautiful pieces of melted crayon art paintings and that was when I started liking crayons again. But the reason why I don't like working with crayons, and here's what I can now evaluate with crayons, now that I've grown up since eight years old and I can kind of work with different pieces of art materials and stuff <laughs> and different mediums, but here's the thing about crayons is they don't like to layer as much. So uh, I only have 24 colors. So I'm trying to get them to mix and they don't mix that well either since they're this waxy substance. It's just like I can't get anything to layer and when you start to layer it, it starts to really pile and make little clumps and it's just like, it's, it's weird. So you can start to see it on Hatter's face. You can see that the waxy substance is starting to pile on because I'm trying to layer it and you can see that it's turning kind of speckly. And it's kind of picking up the texture in my sketchbook too. I have a Canson sketchbook. I told you guys about it in my most recent sketchbook tour and I'm quickly filling it up. So I just, I'm just using my sketchbook just to kind of like fill it up and just put more doodles inside of it because I always like having a full sketchbook in case anybody is potentially looking for a, an uh, illustrator and then I can just have my sketchbook on me and show them the work that I have. So I'm just trying to fill it up and it could be that the cranes are picking up that texture in my sketchbook but it's a pretty smooth paper surface so I'm not really sure but it's interesting it, it's interesting actually working with crayons and shading with them again if you haven't worked with crayons since you were eight years old like myself then I suggest just sit down and grab your sketchbook and do a doodle with crayons it's it's a lot of fun. It's different. It's a fun, cheap art supplies challenge. I love Crayola. I love Crayola crayons for melting purposes because if you were to use any other kind of melted crayon art, like crayons, like rose art, I tried rose art once and it, I mean, when you melt it, it's liquid, but it literally turned into liquid. It was so thin and nothing was melting correctly and it was just a catastrophe and I felt horrible because it was a present for my cousin and it looked absolutely horrible and I need to just remake a new one for her this Christmas with just Crayola crayons because this one was so bad. <laughs> but yes, that's the only time that I like using crayons is when I get to melt them. But it's interesting going back to the good old roots of the good old days and coloring with crayons. It's a fun challenge. You, I finally have a little bit of knowledge on shading with different colors. So it's interesting to approach it with a new mindset and when you're all grown up. So yeah, how about you? Do you like to color with crayons? Do you still color with crayons? Do you grab a coloring book from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Walmart and you're just like, I'm gonna color this with crayons. But hey, crayons are fun. But yes guys, have a most wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you all later. Bye.